Hello, today I pay criminal case. Case number two, Corpse Near Garber. Let's get the results from the laboratory. Nice to see you again, Osmin. I will go straight to business. The hand you found in the garden matches the body you found in the bathtub. Apart from that, I only got one center. See, only a man of a very strong beard who had been able to get rid of their body by cutting it with a soul. I'm dying to ask you how women will have disposed of the body, but we have got no time. A killer is a man, which is all that matters. Thanks, Nathan. The killer is a man. Well, I have no idea who the murderer is. But let's talk to Dave Simmons, the renter. It could be him because now it's not looking good for him. What's this? I lost my tooth when I was young. I have nothing else to say about this sordid affair, except I was there to sell the house. That's how I found the hand. If you were there to sell it, I trust you know who this house belongs to? Of course not. Uh, wait, of course. This property belongs to Master Macaroni and has been derelict for years now. He'd be much better off without it. Did he say Ma Wait, Marconi? Deputy Osmond, this is getting big. I think we better be pulled to Chief King. You're telling me Tony Macaroni is, is somehow involved in this murder investigation? Deputy Osmond, Tony Macaroni is a gangster involved in all sorts of safety businesses. We haven't been able to paint anything on him so far. But if Macaroni's got something to do with this murder, this could be a chance to put him behind bars. Go talk to him straight away. Well, this is getting interesting, eh? A new suspect. Now let's see what does he have to say to us. Deputy Osmin is asked if you have heard of a man named... Wait, a man called Ned Dinanon. Ned Dinanon? Never heard of him, is that all? I'm a very busy man, you know. I watched my turn if I were you. Ned's corpse was found in one of your properties. Tragic for Seba, unless you got proof I was there. I don't see how he concerns me. Now if you excuse me, I really have no time for such trivia matters. Alright, Osme. We made a, we made headway onto investigating to Ned Dinan's murder, but we still have enough of questions to answer. At least thanks to you, we know that Ned's killer is missing a tooth, and that he's very a bandage. We also know that Tony McAlani, the most crooked man in all of Grimm's board, is somehow evolving this one. We need to find poo if we were to pin this on him. I'm a, I agree. It's high time we that we high time we report it back to Chief King with what you discover. Opening Oh yes, I copied to chapter one. Perfect. Now Get it somewhere now in this investigation. Yikes, that's expensive. Two stars to go to the next chapter. So, Deputy Osmond, how's the Ned Dinan case going? Have you found who killed him? Not here, no, but thanks to Osmond, we, we already had three pieces of evidence against the killer. We know it's the man that he lost the tooth, and we also know he's really a bandage. Good job, Deputy Osmond, that's quite a nice. Do you know what? Do you know what you're going to do next? Um, well, we're going to. You're going to do the only thing you can do. Go back to those crime scenes and find something to push this case forward. Well, now he's angry with me. Let's investigate the garden again. Let's see, there should be a pile of needs. Oh, there it is.
Let's be some other stuff. Let's be a hat. Where's the camera? There's the camera. There should be a revolver and some other stuff. And the fan. I done it. Nice spotty, deputy. Such a tidy pie of nibs and such a devoted gardener. This must be hiding something. Okay, now let's go to the bathroom again. Hope any there's something that links this case. Jesus, nice. Should be some other thing. Well, this is difficult. Alright, that's the tie crib. Could be something new school. How did this imagine a tie crib end up in such a dirty bathroom? You're right, Osmi. We need to have a course to look at this tie crib. But before that, I should probably see if I can find something in the mini market. Let's do the... Let's do this level. Let's do the time attack because... You haven't seen this yet, so I had to find cookbook, what's ticker, um, day panel, crate, where is the crate, or there it is. Ooh. And there should be a coffee bean, a credit card, some other items, baseball bat, baseball, wait, oh, basketball, I need to look for that. There should be a pile of money, a wallet, a football, a price tag. And there should be a cookie and a rat. Where's the mirror? Oh, there's the mirror. And there should be a dress. And a mushroom. Okay, I found some items and i done it. So now, because i done the time attack, next examine the pie of leaves. I want to see what's in these. In this pie of leaves. What's in it? Man, this is easy. Man, I found something. Bingo, you found a business card belonging to our victim those needs. Nice catch, Deputy Osmond. And look at the back of the card. Call Marvin. Marvina. And there's the phone number. The bank got to it, though. Do you think you could despite for it? Of course I can. I think I can see what's better on the back of his business card. Now let's examine this tie thing. Ah, I found the fingerprint, yes. You prove it to be a natural, wait, a natural of nifty fingerprints, I mean that that tie clip you found in the bathroom did a standard terms. Why do you say we get these fingerprints to Grace, see what she can come up with? And let's send this to her, and let's examine, examine that business card.
that's perfect. Yes, so that's the phone number. But who does it belong to? Super so because me you dis you decrypted the phone number that was quiver on a victim's business card. Let's send this phone number to Annex, our tech guy. He will probably find it's on a, on a our database. Well, this is going so well. I'm making so much progress with this. Well, that's it. See you soon for the next episode. Goodbye.